The Iraqi reporter who threw his shoes at former President George W. Bush in protest was freed from prison early last week. And unrepentant, he harshly condemned the U.S. presence in his country and accused authorities of torturing him. Muntadar al zaidis stunning act of protest in December made him a hero for many in and outside Iraq. It struck a chord with millions in the Arab and Muslim worlds who have been captivated and angered by daily images of destruction and grieving since the U.S.-led invasion of Iraq in 2003. His protest came on Bush's final visit to Iraq as president on December 14th. At a press conference, al zaidi hurled his shoes towards Bush at the podium, shouting, quote, This is your farewell kiss, you dog, and this is from the widows, the orphans, and those who were killed in Iraq. He said senior officials from al-Maliki's government and Iraq's army tortured him with beatings, whippings, and electric shocks immediately after his detention. At least two of al zaidis teeth appeared to be missing when he spoke at the TV station, but it was not immediately clear whether he lost them due to beatings. He told reporters, quote, I traveled through my burning land and saw with my own eyes the pain of the victims and heard with my own ears the screams of the bereaved and the orphans. And a feeling of shame haunted me like an ugly name because I was powerless. When I threw the shoe in the face of the criminal Bush, I wanted to express my rejection of his lies, his occupation of my country, my rejection of his killing my people. After six years of humiliation, of indignity, of killing and violations of sanctity and desecration of houses of worship, the killer comes boasting, bragging about victory and democracy. He came to say goodbye to his victims and wanted flowers in response.